Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, David. I'm down here in Great Mills at the kayak launch. The water has receded quite a bit since the last time I was here. The last time I was here, water was all the way up to this sign, and now it's receded back to the creek bed itself. I found out that day that I actually had a hole in my boot as I was walking in there. So uh, I went out and I bought myself a set of bibs. Um, they're going down into my boots. So I should be able to stay dry. It's October. It's the 3rd of October, Saturday. The temperature's probably in the high 60s right now. I'm thinking the water's going to be pretty cool, so I'm thinking this is going to feel pretty good. Let's have some fun today. This railing on the launch all looks new. Water's still running a little high, but that's probably because of the fact that we've had some rains recently. The log that used to be down there is now down, so I might be able to walk up a little bit further. Place has changed some. Let's see if we still can find some fish. So here's my first setup. I've got an Uncle Josh uh, wax worm underneath of a piece of steel split shot on my fixed line pole. I got a few more of those wax worms to use. I've also brought with me a small spinning rod just to see if I need to make a little bit longer cast or something like that. But let's find out what's going to work. Didn't bring any bite indicators with me today, so I'm going to have to feel it. I like that cast right there. That's our first fish of the day. I found out that my wax worms were not, they were dried out, so I couldn't keep them on the hook. So I've switched to a floating trout worm and I've got a small red breast sunfish, which I think are sometimes my, the prettiest sunfish of them all. I just think they're a gorgeous fish, but he's nice and small. But got the first fish of the day. Hopefully the first of maybe a half a dozen or so. There we go, he's gonna go right back. I made that cast right up here. I'm gonna try again, see if he's got a buddy up there. I almost wish I had those bite indicators with me. I left them at the house this morning. Oh, that was a bite. I saw the line move. Let's see if we can put it back over there. Oh, wonderful. I just knocked my rod into the water. Fish number two is another red breast. It's the one I was trying to cast to over in that corner there and knock my rod in the water. That's a fish. That's a fish. Looks like a little better one. Yeah, it's another red breast, but it's definitely a better one. This would be the one we take a picture of for today. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come here. Yeah, you're a nice one. Yeah, definitely a nice one. Get the camera out real quick. I'll put you back down in the water while I get the camera out. And there he goes, right back into the water. And that was a much nicer size one. Come here, bud. I'll get you off of there if you come here. Close quarters when you're fishing back here. There we go. Yeah, with these overhanging limbs and this 10 foot rod, 
makes it kind of difficult sometimes. But I've said that before. I saw that take. That was a nice one. All right. I got to get out of here so we can get it in here. Oh, yeah. I see you, bud. Another nice red breast. Lift it straight up. A line comes towards me, except he keeps fighting. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Yeah. That's a nice size one. You don't want that floating trout worm in your belly either. So we're going to let you go. There we go, we're good, he's good. Okay, so, so far, the bibs have been working again. I know that there's water in my boots because I've been up to my thighs in water. But I'm hoping at the end that the only water that's on my feet is maybe a little bit of sweat from being inside of these bibs. Um, again, I've caught six red breasts up to this point they were all upstream from the kayak launch. I'm going to head back down from the kayak launch, give it a try. Hopefully catch a few more, maybe catch something different. We'll have to see. So stick with me here. I'm just waiting back down the stream. And you're just waiting. Ha! Ah! You see what I did there? I'm funny. I know. You can laugh. That's a fish. There we go. What have we got? We got another one. We got another red breast. Come here, buddy. Come here. You're feisty. You're a nice feisty one. Yeah, look at how pretty you guys are. Beautiful fish. Just beautiful. Right there behind those tree roots. Probably hiding back in there waiting for something to float by. And just comes out and smashed it. Like that one just did right there. Except it's a lot smaller. But it's still number eight of the, of the red breasts. Okay, okay, feisty, come on. You're the little brother of that one, little sister of that one that I just caught. Oh, yeah. There we go. Another little one. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's off. Okay. That's fine. We won't count him then. Fish number 10. Not quite as big as the other ones I caught, but still. Nice one. Uh oh. We'll take care of the fish first, and then we'll get the line out of the tree above me. If I can get two more, I got an even dozen. Mm -hmm. There's one. So all I need now is just one more fish and I got an even dozen. Now I'm sitting there saying, I don't know if I want to catch a different species. That way I have an even dozen of red breast. Just need one more. There we go. Well, there's number 12. Fish number 12. 
and it's another red breast. See it a little differently. Okay, so I just want to let you know, everyone, that last fish that you saw here at the end. It was released perfectly fine. It swam off. It is going to fight again another day. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back and see if I can catch him another time. So I think that was a pretty good morning. Twelve fish, all one species. Eh, that's okay. Red breast, all caught on a fixed line. Been a while since I've done any fixed line fishing. I want to do it a little bit more because I'm hoping that once they start putting some trout here in some of our local ponds, that I'm going to get out on the kayak and, and give that a try. See if I can catch one that way. But I had a great time this morning. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video with fixed line fishing, click the link that's going to be coming up in just a moment because I've got a whole playlist of fixed line fishing videos. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, tight lines.